Richter and Galveston sustained winds were around 120 miles an hour. But the really deadly part, the reason it's the deadliest disaster in U.S. history, it pushed this almost 16-foot wall of seawater across the island. And if you've never seen a storm surge, it's like a raging river just that just tore up much, I should say, most of Galveston. And I think a lot of the people that died, the 16,000 people that died on the island, mostly were drownings from the storm surge. A lot of people will ask, why didn't anybody know that the storm was going to hit Galveston? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, for one, we can take a bird's eye view of the Texas coast in that time in history. There were big hurricanes that hit down the coast in 1875 and 1886. There was a smaller community called Indianola, not as big as Galveston, I think around 5,000 people, but still a vibrant city. When you go to central and west Texas, a lot of the immigrants that went there came through Indianola. A lot of the materials that were that were imported into the U.S. came through Indianola. Mm -hmm. Indianola was hit directly by these storms in 1875 and 1886. You can go down today to Matagorda Bay and see the steps to the to Indian, the old Indianola courthouse that are still in the bay. Indianola doesn't exist anymore. It's a ghost town. And so, interestingly, both of those hurricanes flooded Galveston substantially. In fact, the 1886 one put about nine feet of storm surge into Galveston. It would have flooded most of Galveston Island. Galveston homes were washed away in 1886. And so people started really talking after that, uh, you know, we really possibly need, need a seawall. We need some kind of protection. I think there was an urgency to it. But, you know, once you go a few years with weather like today, where it's 82 degrees and sunny, you start forgetting about hurricanes. And so... Uh, on the bird's eye view picture, there wasn't, they were, it was known that there was this vulnerability to hurricanes for different reasons. I think they felt like Galveston would be protected and not really damaged. They had seen the fringe of hurricanes before, but never really saw a direct hit like they did from the 1900 storm.